Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you are into anti-aging skincare or just skincare in general, you've probably heard the name Colleen Rothschild mentioned somewhere on someone's channel. You may be a little bit curious about it. She's getting ready to have her annual friends and family sale where everything on her site is 25% off, including bestsellers that never, ever, ever go on sale. I have been trying out five new products from her. So I'm gonna to talk to you about those products so that if you've been a little bit curious about her brand, about what to get, if you wanna try them, you can learn more about the products I've been trying out here, as well as a staple product in my beauty routine. So if you wanna hear a little bit more about the products that I've been trying out for the past several weeks, just keep watching. Sometimes it's kind of hard to know what to sink your money into when you look at a website and you don't really know what's good. So hopefully this video will give you an idea of these five products that I've been trying out for the last few weeks. Colleen Rothschild did reach out to me to send me some of these products. One of them, like I said, I've been using probably for close to a year. So I'm definitely gonna tell you about that and it's also in my current beauty routine video that I just did and I'll have that linked above so that you can go see that. It'll also be in the description box as well. This video is also sponsored by Colleen Rothschild. I never take sponsorships unless I firmly believe in the product and think you guys could benefit from the product and unless I can fully speak to the product as well. So with that said, I'm going to start with the product that has been in my beauty routine and I have about a third of it left and that is the Retinol Supreme Night Oil. I have been using this product for, I want to say almost a year and I love it. That's probably one of the reasons why I ended up on their radar in the first place is because I rave consistently about this product. If you are someone who has sensitive skin like I do, I guess I should tell you guys about my skin type before I get started. I am 42 years old. I'll be 43 this summer. I have oily combination skin. I am concerned with anti-aging. I do have rosacea. So I look for things that are not going to flare up my rosacea, but yet will be effective for my skin. And this is one of those products. It is a retinol. I alternate it with glycolic and lactic acid nights and it has a facial oil in it. So it's combined with the facial oil. It saves a step if you do use a facial oil, which I do recommend. You can go look at my skincare routine for what exactly I do with that. But I like this because it does soothe the skin. It kind of counteracts all those drying effects that you can get from retinol. And it's really effective. I feel like I do I just saw a big shadow come over on my screen. That's just gonna happen. I'm at that time of day. So we're just gonna have to ignore the lighting issues I have with the clouds going on. But yeah, I do really like this. I feel like it's effective, but it doesn't give me those drying retinol side effects. Even though I have oily combination skin, the combination part can give me that surface dryness over on the perimeters of my face, which you can get when you use things like retinol or acids or things like that. And the addition of the oils help combat that. I love this product, it's beautiful. Those of you who have bought this either based on my recommendation or who have already been using it, absolutely love this product too. I feel like when I use this, my skin is just in great shape. I've tried other retinol products, throwing them in to see how they compare to this, and I always end up going back to this one. This is just a beautiful product that would definitely be worth picking up during the sale. One of the products that I requested to have sent to me was the Sheer Renewal Cream. I did get to select the products that I had sent to me. And this says on the back that it is an oil-free, Sheer Renewal Cream that provides continuous weightless hydration and promotes new cell turnover to help minimize the appearance of lines and wrinkles. It has a powder finish that leaves skin with a light, breathable barrier and offers broad environmental defense. Now, I talked about this in my April favorites and how it has kind of everything that I like from a moisturizer. What I've been using is the relatively new Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream which I absolutely love and I still do love. But I wanted to work this in and see if it would be a good alternative or if I would like it just as much, and I really do. I love that what it claims it does, it seems to do. It leaves my skin nice and hydrated and moisturized, but it doesn't make me greasy. And I feel like that's something that a lot of us that are looking for anti-aging skincare but don't have dry skin, that's kind of hard to get. Sometimes you get those oil-free moisturizers that just aren't enough. They don't give you that hydration because your skin can still feel stripped, 
but then you go for a more hydrating moisturizer and then you just feel greasy during the day. And this gives me that powder-like finish once it sinks in and it just gives me the hydration too. So I really enjoyed this moisturizer. It's got that kind of tube that kind of crinkles up as you use it. It's kind of different, kind of that Too Faced-like tube. It's just a really nice light moisturizer that I think anyone with maybe normal or oily combination skin could really benefit from. My third item of the six that I have here to talk about is not a skincare item at all. It's a candle. She does have a really beautiful candle line that comes beautifully packaged. They come with lids on them as well that I think would make an excellent gift. Now the scent that I got was La Balm and the scent is based on the scent of the cleansing balm, which I'm going to talk about in a minute as well. Spoiler alert. So I'm looking down at some notes for this, but it says that this is the scent that started it all. It's inspired by the radiant cleansing balm. Imagine the deeply relaxing aromatics of essential oils and the calming ambiance of of a luxurious world-class spa. It says, take time to feel pampered and balanced. La Balm evokes a comforting aura that's perfect for soaking in a warm bath or setting the mood for a rejuvenating skincare facial. So it's not a straight eucalyptus, lavender, sage type spa candle. It does have a hint of spiciness to it too. There's a little bit of clove in there, a little bit of wood to make it a little bit more sensual and spicy. So if you don't like that, you might not like this candle. It just gives a very relaxing spicy vibe which i enjoy just know that you do get a kind of spicy earthy vibe to this candle as well as that spa like experience but if you're someone that has used that cleansing balm and you really like the smell of it you would definitely like this candle since we just talked about the cleansing balm scented candle let's just go ahead and talk about the cleansing balm itself I feel like this is the product that she's probably most known for. People really love this product. It is one of her best sellers. It very rarely goes on sale, if ever. Actually, most of these products don't go on sale that much. So if you can scoop them up during the sale, this is a good time to do so. In my recent skincare routine video, I did talk about another cleansing balm that I use regularly. So a lot of you might say, why would I use this as opposed to using a different type of makeup remover or cleansing balm? So I'll read you a little bit about what it says about this. It says that it clears congested pores and removes impurities while dissolving all traces of makeup, leaving skin balanced, soft, and radiant. It has loofah seed and moringa oil, I think I'm saying that right, to improve the skin's integrity by renewing the outer layer of cells while restoring the skin's flexibility and equilibrium. With continued daily use, skin becomes velvety smooth and more luminous. It also says in all these descriptions that Colleen Rothschild skincare is formulated with level E3, an exclusive technology that helps key ingredients work harder and smarter. And you can look on her website her reviews are fantastic and I don't believe that they filter their reviews like some do. There's so many reviews on each of the products and they're all for the most part really really good. This does come with a muslin cloth so you just scoop this out with your hands and rub your hands together just to kind of warm up the product. Put it over your dry skin and then you take the wet muslin cloth and place it over your face to wipe it off. I've used this with and without the muslin cloth and I find it works pretty well both ways. I do kind of prefer it with the muslin cloth. It just makes the skin feel really good. So I enjoy this product. I think there are people that just use this as their sole cleanser. I tend to use this as my first step just because with oily combination skin, I don't really like using a balm cleanser as my sole cleanser. So I do use this as my first step to remove makeup at night. And I really do enjoy it. The smell's nice. It's effective. It's a really great makeup removal step. So the two products I have left are both treatment products. And one of them I stated in my April favorites freaked me out because it made my skin so smooth. This is not it, but this one is good too. I just didn't want to have that many Colleen Rothschild products and my April favorite since I was getting ready to do this video too. If you like to mask, this is a product you might want to check out. This is the Clarifying Detox Mask. And what this says is that activated charcoal and French Kaolin clay, I always feel like I say that wrong too, goes straight to work to detox pores and leave behind a more balanced complexion. Micronized silver helps keep bacteria at bay. This also has a blend of vitamin C and willow herb extract to brighten and soothe inflamed skin. What I like about this mask is that 
It goes on really easily. It's not too stiff and it doesn't make my skin feel stripped after it comes off. Even with oily combination skin, I do find sometimes clay masks can leave my skin feeling really dehydrated after, especially the next day. This one does not do that. This does make my skin feel like it is cleaned out thoroughly and it makes it a little brighter and more glowing, but it never makes it feel stripped or feel too dry. I will say, it says in the instructions to apply it to face and then leave it on for 10 minutes and let it dry and then rinse off. This took a lot longer than 10 minutes for it to dry on my face. I didn't mind, but now that I know that, I know to set aside more than 10 minutes just for this mask. It was more like 20 or 25 minutes, but that doesn't bother me. I don't mind walking around with a mask on my face for that long, but even if I apply it kind of thin, it does take longer than just the 10 minutes to dry. That's fine with me, but if that's something that bothers you and you want just a 10 minute mask, this probably is not gonna be it. It could be because I live in a humid area and maybe that's just the way things are, but this did take longer than 10 minutes, but it was worth it. Now, this is the product that I talk about in my April favorites where I said it kind of freaked me out because it left my skin so smooth. And there were a couple of you that chimed in saying you had used it before and you completely agree. So it wasn't just me that felt that way. This is the Dual Enzyme Polish. This is an exfoliator, a manual exfoliator that you can use a couple times a week just to help refresh and awaken your tired, dull skin. So while it's granular, it is not harsh. And that's what I like about it because I do have sensitive skin. It says on here that this polish gently but efficiently sloughs dull skin cells, leaving your skin feeling soft and refreshed. The microspheres are blended with a fruit enzyme and an AHA cocktail to provide deep exfoliation. Comfrey extract and argan oil regulate and rebalance overly stressed skin. After one application, your skin will look refined and radiant. And it truly does. I cannot get over how radiant and smooth my skin was when I used it after the first time. Well, after every time. It makes it so smooth, it's unreal. I don't think I've ever used another scrub that leaves my skin as smooth as this scrub does. Now this is one that you apply it to the skin, you leave on for five to 10 minutes, and then you scrub it in circular motions and then rinse off. I like those kinds of scrubs because it gives you that enzymatic action and then it also gives you that gentle exfoliating action as well. This is a scrub that I'm truly impressed with and I'm so glad that I have gotten to try. Have you tried any of these Calling Rothschild products in particular, if you haven't, are you going to partake in this sale? If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to have you become a member of the family, a member of the community. If you have not seen my skincare routine video, you can catch it up there. You can also catch some other skincare videos I'm gonna have linked as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.